I'm so grateful for the canonization of St. John Paul the Great. I remember when I was a teenager, I was kind of like an agnostic. I didn't have too much faith in God. And someone had left a videotape of John Paul II at our home, and I had no idea who he was. And I secretly watched the videotape, and as I listened to him preach, it changed my heart. He was saying to the young people that they have to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd and follow him. And in my heart, I felt myself say, I don't know who this Pope is, but I trust him, and I have to listen to him. He's telling me the truth about God, about Jesus, and about life. And it's amazing now to think about 1920, this little boy, Carol Wojtyla, born to two parents who were suffering and holy in a land torn by war and poverty, would one day become the Pope and would change my life. And thanks God for this gift. St. John Paul the Great, I love him. Hey, my name is Kathy Rita. I am um, a nurse just getting home from work and I'm a consecrated virgin and I would like to tell you why Saint John Paul the Great means so much to me. Um, helping with the, our youth group I went to World Youth Day in 2000 and when John Paul, Pope John Paul went by I actually started to cry and I didn't know why and our priest at the time said it was because pure holiness was going by and that started my interest in love for Pope John Paul II. And his love of youth and bringing them together just helped me enormously. And his motto, Totus Tuus, helped me learn more about our Blessed Mother and she has guided me always closer to Jesus. And I fell in love and became consecrated. And I'm so happy and I'm thrilled that uh, our Pope John Paul II is going to be Saint John Paul the Great. Hi, my name is Sister Barry Mediac Jukes of All Grace, and I'm from the community, the Society of Our Lady of the Most Holy Trinity. And I was privileged to live in Rome for two years when John Paul the Great was the Holy Father. Our community attended many different events where he presided. And just um, it was just a great joy and a privilege to live there with him because when we would go to these different events, I had a real experience of his holiness and his love for me as a person. And I felt like I knew him and he knew me, even though I didn't have the chance to meet him in real life. But, you know, just uh, to be with him is a real joy. And one memory that I really uh, treasure was World Youth Day during Rome on the Saturday night vigil when he was there with the young people. And at one point it was getting kind of late and he said into the microphone, you know, the man, or the cardinal next to me says that it's getting late and I say, who cares? So you just knew that he was happy to be there with you. So John Paul II, we love you. I once read on the internet, you know you're a Catholic when John Paul II died and you felt as though you'd lost a member of your own family. It's so true. He was a Pope that everyone seemed to feel personally close to, whether they'd even met him or not. He led us all by example, with great humility and love, and he had a wonderful sense of humour as well. My favourite little story about him is that he once told a friend, music is extremely helpful for prayer, and as St Augustine said, he who sings prays twice. And when the friend asked, were you a good singer, Holy Father? He replied, when I sang, it was more like I was praying only once. We love you and pray for us, St. JP too. Good morning, everybody. My name is John Niven. I'm a musician and worship leader from the Archdiocese of Boston. And uh, one of the reasons that Pope St. John Paul II was just so awesome for us is, is I think he was a symbol of hope. Um, our generation sort of grew up in this culture of death and he was a light in the darkness. Uh, one of the huge quotes that really inspired me, he said, you know, do not lose yourself to despair. We are an Easter people and hallelujah is our song. And I think he really inspired a generation of young people to not be afraid. He, he encouraged us to fight the battle and fight the war. Um, and in the midst of the darkest times, we knew that Christ would prevail and uh, he was definitely that shining star. So yesterday was such a beautiful day to see him canonized, and I am so grateful to have known his papacy in my lifetime and have been able to experience a Mass said with him on Youth Day in Toronto. Um, I pray that he blesses you and uh, Pope John Paul II. Hi, my name is Jessica Lee Hoffman. I'm a Catholic and 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 I'm a
Pope St. John Paul II pray for us. Hi, my name is Father Samuel Medley and I'm a priest of the Society of Our Lady, the Most Holy Trinity. And I was so overjoyed when I heard that Pope John Paul was going to be made a saint. The reason being that we need someone to lead us in a, in a new way through the aisles of the modern marketplace. And he was that prophet who appeared in time to, to show us how to follow Christ even through places that we had never really followed him before. He was the first pope to do like, blogging and, uh, and uh, to encourage others to do blogging and to, you know, tweets and, 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 and Facebook and all the rest of that stuff. He was the first person to show us, yes, we need to mo enter into the modern sector for that. I'm truly grateful. Besides that, he really, really loved mightily. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ryan Verrett, and this is my wife, Mary Rose Verrett, who live in Louisiana. And uh, John Paul II had a huge impact upon our discernment and our vocation. I believe that uh, the model that he left uh, for our lives uh, has uh, inspired us to, uh, as much as possible, to live this uh, domestic church that, that he uh, outlined for the world. We have three children, uh, two girls and, and a boy. And uh, we, we love this vocation. We love how John Paul II really uh, took the time to explain uh, to the world the gift and the, the need and necessity of marriage and family. And uh, we, we think about him and uh, read his writings and work with couples and we just we see so much the fruit of his, his work and his life in the couples we work with. We see lives changed. Every day, and in teaching our family planning, marriage preparation, and we see that fruit in our own marriage and in the couples we work with. And uh, it's always new. The grace is always there, and we are so happy that He is Saint Pope John Paul II. Pray for us. <laughs>